Tech's new storm team. Hey Tom, how's the weather? Yeah, that's Bailey, Juliet, and Karen, who I ran into Saturday while they were waiting in line uh, for candy. And uh, they just look like they're having a good time, so why not put them on TV? So, Karen, uh, uh, Juliet, and Bailey, thank you so much for being uh, on Hey Tom. Thank you. All right. Uh, this is day two of North Dakota Winter Weather Awareness Week. There's a lot to cover. I could be talking about frostbite or hypothermia, but uh, today the focus is on ice thickness because right now the lakes are still open, of course, but colder weather is is on the way and not all that far and in all that far of a distance. So if you're new to North Dakota, that's kind of the baseline where you would expect the ice to be safe, but you got to take extra precautions like is there water running over it, is it cracked, things like that. But still, uh, we're still a long way away from it, but the, you know, if you're going to take a truck out there, it's going to have to have a lot of ice. Today, however, about the furthest thing from it, Bismarck set a record of 74 degrees. It was set back in the 1800s, uh, 73, so it beat it by one degree. Minot tied uh, the record high for 70 at 73 today, but look at everybody else uh, in the low to mid 70s. In Bismarck right now, the temperature is 55, southeast wind at 13, humidity 35%. And in the Magic City, the temperature is 60 degrees, southeast wind at 13, and humidity 33%. So around western North Dakota with the southeasterly breeze, uh, temperatures just not falling very quickly tonight. And it may only drop another 8 to 10 degrees during the overnight hours, 8, 10, 12, something like that. So not a huge drop from here on out. It is breezy, and uh, we're, it really hasn't dropped off a whole lot tonight. So most of wind is roughly uh, 10 to 15 miles an hour. So here's a radar in the satellite. I know this looks like it's raining. Chances are pretty good. It's not reaching the ground. The atmosphere is very dry. The dew points are low. Maybe trying to sprinkle a little bit, but probably evaporating. And when we look at the precision cast, uh, during the day tomorrow, we still have that southerly flow. So we're going to have a very warm day again tomorrow. I'm not sure if we're going to set any records or not. We'll be close. And this looks like a whole lot of snow up in uh, Saskatchewan, but it's not heading our way. It's going to be heading northeast, where we're likely going to get some snow is from the southwest. And here it comes right here. You can see it right here by Thursday morning. Could be a little bit of rain, could be a little bit of snow. And as the data from today shows that uh, it's probably going to top out around two inches, maybe a little bit more in spots. Quite a few areas, probably less than that. But it's not like really widespread. It may work its way east, but it's going to be falling apart as it does it. So it's not going to be a very big uh, snow event at all. Now, next week, it looks like there's going to be Colorado low in the area. That could be a whole other issue. So the confidence is increasing that there is going to be a storm system in the area, but there's nothing to suggest that we have a, any uh, certain idea what the track's going to be. And that's going to be very, very important uh, to how much snow is going to fall or not fall and, uh, you know, where it lands, of course. So as we get closer, we can start fine tuning it. But if you were thinking that, uh, hey, I need to make sure that the uh, snow blower is going to work, you might want to do it this weekend just to be safe, just in case. Red, uh, Fire weather watch, red flag warning for tomorrow. And for the next 72 hours in Dickinson, cut that high temperature in half from Wednesday to Thursday. And Thursday is that chance of snow for Williston. Uh, boy, look at that. Big drop in temperatures as well. Low temperatures tonight in the 40s, mid 40s at that. High temperatures tomorrow back into the 70s. And here's a look at the Bismarck seven day outlook. And uh, we've got that slight chance of snow for Bismarck on Thursday and next week. And I think those odds may actually go up a little bit, uh, but uh, we're probably looking at some snow early next week and maybe some Arctic air pushing in as well. Not looking forward to that either. No, no. no we aren't. We aren't either, Tom. <laughs> Thanks. Sports is coming up.